If you like our videos, consider checking out our Patreon. Hey everybody, Gutter Burner, it's Tuesday again, so that means... <laughs> Good storage place. Talk. That's jag talk for now. Nudity on slick paper. You can tell by our fucking clothes, either we haven't changed our clothes or birds on vacation and this is another one of the ones filmed the same time as last week's. Sorry. So that's what fuck. why well, they, they don't lose out, we lose out, so we're going to film two of these in one day and then Tuesday we have to film two movies. But you know we're going to do shorts. Right. So anyway. We'll make it easier. Today, we're... Oh, God. God. Ah, Today we are doing the second of our trading film double trading double film penetration double feature DP a GameStop training fucking video from two thousands I can't it doesn't say Some, but it fucking feels yeah, like yeah. it was around the three sixty time because right. Mirror's Edge they had a cut off for that and stuff and it was around the didn't, time of the didn't week. Didn't quite realize the duration of this video was going. Yeah, it's a little three. weird because it starts off like a fake animal documentary, like a nature documentary with I'm a smart I'm, a I'm a smart tone or smart one. I'm a smart I'm a one. smart one. That's her name? Yes. And she fuck named her. And she is director of womanly studies at GameStop University. There is no such thing. It exists just as much as Trump, Trump University. University. Yes, you've made that joke I'm just, like I'm three just, times. But I'm gonna keep making it until Congress <laughs> pays attention. So what? I don't know. They're a bunch of lily livered yeah. fucks. Whatever. So she talks about like this new promotion to like the weird other customers that we don't normally get women but this january and february we're aiming an exciting new promotion at an entirely new breed of consumer a segment of the species that remains a mystery to over 50 percent of the population today join me on an amazing journey as we reveal the truth about one of the world's most fascinating creatures. We don't know how to sell to the women. Well, this is what this is trying to basically trying to fucking train you is how to sell to women. Like, I know women that like video games. Yeah! What the fuck are you talking about? They're out there? Find them! But big GameStop, they never miss their chance to kind of talk shit on gamers a little bit. Yeah, of course. We compose a large percentage of the entire GameStop customer base, yet differ greatly from the traditional core audience, most notably because we are not young men or teenage boys, and because we rarely utter the word dude. I'm like, dude, yeah. that's, your, that's your bank right there. That's yeah. That's your customer base, and you're just fucking with them, so whatever. Today. We're going to explore the motivations behind our female shoppers and reveal heretofore undiscovered techniques that will help you build a symbiotic relationship with them. Let's begin. And then a graphic of a woman appears. And, and I she love like that, I love that. Well, first I wanted to say that, that it's fitting that this woman who's doing this whole thing has this whole Kmart Brie Larson thing going on. Yeah. yeah. Except this woman's less less stiffened, you know. And well, this. Yeah, yeah. And um, she's not going off at Chris, Chris Hemsworth, you know. So, but whatever, right? So, we get this graphic of a woman, and fucking, I'm a smart one. She fucking explains women and stuff to us. Oh, yeah, and guess yeah, what? Like they, you know, right. just throw another jab at gamers wearing ratty t shirts. They are easily recognized by their lack of ratty t shirts and their unusual proclivity for carrying a bulky appendage known as a purse. And we all undoubtedly share one common trait, an absolute dislike for being condescended to or ignored. I'm a smart one, might have a point in some aspects. You've seen some, look at me. Look at me. Of course, I'm just lazy. I'm yeah. old and lazy. This is yeah. it. This, this could be construed as gamer, but not. It's just old, lazy. You know? Yeah, it looks pretty lazy. Yeah, it's pretty lazy. That's what it is. What is this? I don't know. Milwaukee Racing Motors. Milwaukee. 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 So whatever, right? The two Ooh, weeks. Testifying. The two weeks lady from Total Recall walks up. Two and she's weeks. all. Is it black and white? She's all. Because, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. you know, I had to split she out. approaches with GameStops with caution. As a GameStop associate, it is essential for you to be able to recognize the telltale signs of discomfort and know the correct method for putting our female customers at ease. 
Let's take a look at a couple of the most common scenarios and their appropriate responses. And then, fucking, I'm a smart one, she fucking explains like deer in headlights. The deer in headlights effect is a common occurrence that often takes place when a person is overwhelmed by the options available at a GameStop store. Let's watch. Well, she came rolling up into the store, and the guy came up, you know, came our Charles Broccoli, came up. Broccoli? <laughs> broccoli. Yeah, so Kmart Charles Broccoli comes up to her and he, he starts talking, but all she hears is the Charlie Brown wonk 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 our unfortunate associate has inadvertently triggered the flight response by his abrupt entrance into gamer jargon. This only reinforces to our subject the foreignness of her surroundings. Let's watch again, as this time our associate tries a different approach. I mean, I I've ever been with a person who's like, oh man, you're the great NBA player of Charlie Broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> And then she talks about building, you know, how Charles Broccoli needs to fucking build a relationship with this chick so he can uh, recommend games to her. As an experienced associate, Alex knows he needs to know more before he proceeds. What are the ages of the players? What equipment do they already own? What are their interests and experience levels? By posing these queries, he begins to build a relationship with the customer and can now make recommendations she knows are customized for her needs. Let's watch. But he all does it kind of this condescending tone that I would be like, you seriously talking to me like I'm a three-year-old dude? We play is an excellent choice. It's age appropriate, but still challenging for adults. And it's pretty fun too. It uses a Wii remote and comes with nine games like table tennis, billiards and laser hockey. Oh, that sounds great. If I ever see him and Shaq together, I'll just be completely retired. Like, look, it's broccoli and snack. <laughs> They're like, ah, oh, fuck. He's, uh, he's a little special. And what's great is, you know, there's all kinds of promotions going on at GameStop. This is also a perfect opportunity to introduce her to the sharpen the mind, shape the body promotion going on in store. So he tells her, you know, there hey, is. there's this exercise promotion that like, if you buy this, this, and this, it gets you moving on the Wii Fit or whatever, <laughs> you can save this, this, and this. You can lose some of that fucking pork around some your Some of that ass. too weak. <laughs> promotion is called Sharpen the Mind, Shape the Body. We and Nintendo DS have a full line of accessories and games that make exercising more fun and teach different ways to cook, to dance, and to even learn a foreign language. Well, that sounds pretty good. And if you spend $34.99 or more on these select products, you'll receive a 12-month subscription to a magazine like Good Housekeeping, Smart Money, or Marie Claire. That sounds great. Maybe get rid of that fucking waddle you got there, bitch Makana. <laughs> the two weeks thing, yeah. So, oh, I'm a bust in again. Alex did everything right here. He was personal, he listened, and he spoke to the customer in a way that didn't make her feel silly or uninformed. He illustrated his expert knowledge without flaunting it. So instead of feeling intimidated, the customer had a comfortable, enjoyable experience. Way to go, Alex. Here's a promotion idea. Lower your fucking prices. You know, I don't want to pay seventy dollars a goddamn game. Cack. Dude, they're never gonna get lower. Ever. Bullshit. So, right, I'm a bust in and she starts explaining hunter and gatherers. Now let's take a look at another common scenario called the hunter versus the gatherer. The hunter busts in, which is resting bitch face here, right? She is easily recognized by her focused gaze, her direct, unwavering route and her disregard for other elements in her surroundings. And then the gatherer walks in with his frump here. Right. Here. Note the raised chin, and how she takes in her surroundings by looking in multiple directions. She stretched her jaw out. You know, another horse shit that I didn't pay quite close enough attention to. So, then I'm a bus in, and <laughs> introduce, introduces this Fucking dude with this fucking hair. A successful GameStop associate will recognize a hunter. 
and to be able to turn her into a gatherer, simply by making her aware of other products GameStop has to offer that may appeal specifically to her. Let's watch. Which one was that? What do you mean, which one was that? <laughs> the fucking dude with the fucking hair. The hair. And then this fucking Karen looking motherfucker walks up with her, I want to see your manager, ha manager haircut, which is pretty fucking close to his. Yeah. Just different right. fucking colors. I forgot. It looked like they both put the same fucking stylist before they came there. So Karen here, which just seems pretty nice. She's not the typical Karen. Yeah, she, she, she comes in Karen. looking for gift cards. No, no, Karen. Parents are bitches. <laughs> looking for gift cards. Hi, I need to buy a gift card. Sure, I can help you with that. My name's Andrew, by the way. Hi, Andrew. I'm Jennifer. Nice to meet you. So, how much can I get for you on the card? Fifty dollars, please. That's like all Beckys aren't barbecue Beckys. And then there's a magazine. And not all girls named Crystal are complete slut bags. <laughs> Everyone I've ever met. No, I'm so fucking kidding. Wow. So, well, but are you? I've, I've, <laughs> I've known like three Crystals in my life. Yeah. I don't want to just blatantly come out and say they were slut bags, but, uh, they were slut bags. Wow. So anyway, moving on. Um, uh, hmm. There's a magazine promotion. Well, are you aware of a current promotion we have going on called Sharpen the Mind, Shape the Body? No, what's that? Well, when you spend $34.99 or more on select Wii or DS titles, as well as certain accessories, you get a free 12-month subscription to a lot of popular magazines such as Oprah, Cosmopolitan, The Red Book, as well as some others. Oh really? I love Cosmo. I've been meaning to buy a DS for a while now, and my sister's addicted to that game Brain Age, and with this promotion running, it's such a great deal. I'm a tox upsells. As you can see, Andrew turned what could have been a simple gift card sale into an opportunity to educate and upsell the customer. And throughout the exchange, the customer became more open to suggestions that piqued her interest. By the end, she made the transition from hunter to gatherer with ease and walked away with an additional purchase she wouldn't have made if Andrew hadn't drawn her in like he did. I'm gonna look up this chick and see what she really looks like because she seems kind of hot to Molly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a little creepy. I don't know. I'm gonna just... look her up and then look her up. I'm not gonna really look her up because I'm lazy as balls, but she, I'm just saying she looked kind of hot under that. And then, when I had mentioned the fact that she looked kind of hot under her fucking stupid outfit yeah. that they forced her to wear, then all of a sudden you bust out with, you know, have you ever seen Flo? And I'm like, no, I didn't say, have you ever seen Flo? But I was like, dude, you know who's hiding something? Flo's said, hiding you something. Who's hiding something? I'm like, I'm never consuming <laughs> weapon. <laughs> no, dude, mean? you were talking about how that fucking GameStop girl was hiding fucking shit under her GameStop uniform. I just say, I said, well, you know, you know who hides shit underneath a fucking uniform? Flo. Flo. Yeah. Flo behind shit under that under that fucking you the, yeah man. that progressive apron. There's some fucking shit hiding. There's <laughs> some shit, dude. You showed me a picture of her in a mirror or something. I was like. The dough has progressed. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, right? They thank us for watching. Power to the player. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, power to the players. All the players. Power to the player, my balls. You want Flo on them balls? No. No. Yeah? You want to get insurance just so you can meet Flo. <laughs> progressive. She makes your wiener progressively grow. Yeah, oh, I ain't gonna fucking deny that shit. <laughs> Well, there's one I mean, she, she you ain't no Pam, like you're never. She you know, ain't no Pam out. Greer or nothing, but. You no. Know, who the hell's ever going to top Pam Greer? You know? No one. Nobody. On that note, for Gutter Bird, we'll see you next week. Kate we'll be in different clothes, most likely, unless she's, it's just by coincidence there. we just end up in the same clothes again, which yeah. would be really weird. It's kind of how I want to go. Like, you think they'll let me go that way? Like, well, if I write it in my will that I want Kate Upton to smother me to death with her titties. Will they, will they let that go? I don't have to touch them. She just goes to put them in my face and just, that's how I go, you know? I figured that'd be fun so for like the hold first... my arm so I can, you know... Yeah, I figured that'd be fun for like now. the first ten seconds, but then after that, you're like... <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's gonna be, you know, I, I, they'll put like a mouth guard on me so I can't bite them titties to get them off me, you know? I just have to take it, you know? What do you think? Yeah, it's, I'm cho I'm choosing that way to go. Why I mean, struggle? if you want, I can fucking get a pillow, no. print out a picture <laughs> of fucking Brie Brie Larson now. Brie Larson, fucking um, Kate Upton's boobs. Print it out, put it on the pillow, and I'll just smother you. Dude, 
Pre Larson looks pre like. Pre Larson? Pre Larson, yeah. She was. What was, what was Marvel pre Larson? Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I lied uh, because it wasn't that fucking great. No, it was okay. It was better than him. Yeah, right, right. But anyway, they were like, here's like Pre Larson, you know. Like, That's a sign. Say, like dude. flat. Uh, you know, compared to Upton, you know, you know, Upton's yeah. carrying like balloon animals, you know. Yeah. Blue to Adam. <laughs> what, like a fucking horse and a fucking unicorn? Possibly. Which is just a horse with a horn, but... I don't know, have you ever seen Kate Upton? Kate Upton? Yeah. I mean, she's... she's Very attractive. She's popped she, in, in there in my... In my uh, on your list? My list She's opted hot, on your list. Hotness. Of, of, of make a hotness. You know, to the point where, like, she's so hot that, like, when you saw her, if she ever said anything to you, anything came out of your mouth would have been like... <laughs> Like, nothing English when it came out. You know, you'd just be like, drool on yourself. <laughs> you know, if she said anything, kill that man and I'll have sex with you. You'd be like, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't. That guy I wasn't aware that you had such a fucking obsession with Kate Upton. No, I'm just saying she's hot. Yeah. No, that's not an obsession. What? Just because I post through some pictures. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, if I put it in my will for her to smother me with her boobs. I have except for boys. I have a clip of her hair. Well, you would say. No, I don't know that. Remember? Lazy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later. And no one ever have to worry about me kidnapping anybody. Like, you never have to worry about... Like, booing from that show that nobody gives a fluck about. Yeah. <laughs> Kidnap the wrong woman. You know, but no, it wouldn't happen. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> no effort at all. I'm lazy. Yep. So why do you even have keys if I dropped <laughs> off here? <laughs> To get into the house. Well, wouldn't your woman have keys? Because she's well, sometimes I car. never see what happens when I get there. I get out of the car and I go up the steps instead of trying to squeeze out the door in the garage. <laughs> What's well, one page? It's gonna take us two seconds to talk about. It. It's like all oh, this game stuff. There's this chick <laughs> who look really hot underneath the thing, like Flo. Because he had the hots for flow. That's it. The hots for flow. I was starting to agree with him because I saw the big old butt, the butt, the butt, the hanging out. Her fucking dough was risen. Hey, everybody. Man, those were progressive. <laughs> 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 nice. Uh.